gut feeling, I guess, is not going to make you come in and fire someone and no. say, oh, no, you no, know what, you, I don't think that yeah. guy's going to work out. But it's a call you to can action. say, I don't think that, a call to action. Exactly. That's it. That's so a call know. to action to verify, does that, is it true? Yeah. Like In the 70s, we used to call that spider senses. <laughs> Are we live, uh, T? I think we'll live. Oh, okay, so we're getting live. Cool. Awesome. Well, Tony. Yeah. First one? Yes. On December 31st. How are you, my man? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't pick a better day for uh, a quick review of 2018 on the last day of the year. Absolutely. And Today's kick off December 2019. Yep. Oh, that's cool. How was the challenge to find the, the top positive and negative thing of 2018 for you? It was a bit challenging because my memory sort of goes back only a month, month or two. All right. So okay. everything I was coming up with was basically something that either I realized in the past quarter yeah. or happened in the past quarter. Yeah, it makes sense. So anything that happened in January or February, no yeah. clue. Well, yeah. Well, personally, like for me, I had, I had one negative. I think my, my less fun one has happened pretty much all the year. Okay, but what is it? So the less, the least pleasurable moment of 2018 you're talking about? Pleasurable, uh, pleasurable or, um, or um, the one that's going to bring the most value, I guess, for the future or the biggest, biggest learning. Oh, biggest lesson learned of yeah, 2018. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what it would So say. the biggest lesson learned of 2018 for you is what? <laughs> <laughs> And actually, it's pretty recent. But you it's see, uh, it's hard, right? Yeah, well, I guess because I don't know, I don't know why. Well, let's let's be honest. Well, in uh, on many aspects, we had one of the best years so far. One of the best years of our company, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. But also one of the most challenging one. Mm -hmm. So with the <laughs> with the best came the the challenges. Um, but so far, I think the. Um, I don't know if I want to start with the positive one, but yeah, well, let's do it. It's going to be, it's going to start positive. So the most positive moment for yeah. you of 2018? <laughs> it's actually visiting a client. Oh, uh, in uh, Tampa. Yeah, visiting a client. We won't mention any names no, of the client, No, but it was in Tampa. Yeah, Florida. yeah. Okay. Not for the location, uh, but obviously pretty cool, right? Yeah. But visiting a client because actually it opened my eyes a lot on the impact we have on people you know a lot of our clients have or invest a lot of their own money you know in in, in their project mm -hmm. and they also have good purpose and they want to help people and they basically ask us to help them right mm -hmm. and so we have we have a lot of impact on them if it doesn't work out we <laughs> You know we're, we're responsible for that too and but if it work out then it, it, it's it's we're el not only we're helping them but we're helping them to help more people for the and, and i'm talking especially for the ones that have a really good purpose or a very honest purpose and not just in the spirit of making money having a business to just make money uh, but the ones that really have a real purpose that's going to help more and more people Like basically, if we help them, and the uh, you know on their side they 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 can help more and more people with that, it 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 opened my eyes a lot because the you know it's eight years now, right? Mm -hmm. We're working with clients here. The company exists for 20 since 2005, but since 2010 we started to work with clients. But most clients that we've worked with were in the United States and we never really traveled to meet them. Mm -hmm. So we never really saw them in face to face and realize how big is the impact that we bring on them, mm -hmm. positive or negative. Um, and, and developers here, same thing. Uh, they work remotely. They work here. They never really see clients, maybe on Zoom. But at the end, they, they only know and see what we give them or what we show them but they don't really have the deeper look into what the relationship with this line is going to bring to them so to me yeah it's been one of the biggest realization 
because we're not in this business for making money only. Mm-hmm. You know, we help people and seeing this line in action, seeing the, um, you know, the, it, its own clients being excited about the service and everything mm-hmm. was like, holy shit. And we're, we've been asked to help them. So you're, so you're saying that you realize that it's not just web development that we're doing for all of these specific clients. What we're doing is actually helping them progress in their business. Yeah. And if their business happens to be helping other people, then we're helping them help other people. Yeah, right. So it's true that it's something that you don't really realize from afar. No. And so you, you were able to get that feeling because you were on site and you sat down with the client face to face and spent the day with him? Yeah. Like what was the, um, like when you say Zoom, Zoom being the, the video conference, uh, yeah. conference yeah. platform in case yeah. anyone doesn't know what that is. So you're saying that it's, it's more than a video conference oh, when yeah. you actually go and you see the person's physical office. You're, you're not in this environment of business only, like mm-hmm. you're, you're basically, um, you connect very well with the person. You go outside the business world. You go for a drink. You could just chit chat about everything, and then when you're exposed to his, his or her own clients, and you see the impact that this person, this client, or our client has on other people's life, mm-hmm. and you're like, holy shit, this guy have a real purpose in business. He do things for real. He do things for the tr- the right reason. And on top of that, he asked us to help him to, mm-hmm. you know, to, to contribute to that. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's a great benefit. It's a great, I mean, it's a privilege. I think, um, I think some clients realize that also, perhaps before you, because there has been a few clients oh, yeah. this year in 2018 that have visited us, right? Yeah. And 100% of the time when that client comes here, even if it's just for a couple of hours, because let's get it straight, right? Yeah. It's difficult to go to a client's office or for them to come here and take your whole day. Oh, shit, it's yeah. the same thing for you going to see the, the, the client in Tampa. Like if you're sitting there and saying, okay, I want you to dedicate your whole oh, day yeah. to me, it's kind of intrusive a little bit. Yeah. But for a one or two hour visit, like we had, I think maybe three or four clients that came um, here from yeah. the US in 2018. Yeah. And it's true, my attitude towards them changed for the better you know yeah. you you find out that they're kind of uh, they're they're interesting you find out more about their company whether they yeah. own it or whether they're an employee yeah it's uh it's cool yeah and it's uh it's so easy when you come to work in your office every day and you basically exchange emails and phone calls and even t- i mean sometimes even some chats to not yeah. see that it's 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 not real you know, it's not the real thing. Like we're, we're, I find that in this decade, we're, we're losing this, this will of meaning and having real physical, not physical, but real highest contact with people mm-hmm. and develop good relationships. And, and in our, in our business, it's full of that. I mean, a lot of companies are remote. I mean, that doesn't mean they don't do a good job, right? I mean, they can do a great job, yeah. but I think that's one of our really good advantage is to now we want to travel meet mm-hmm. and actually not just for making the relationship better or stronger but also to understand better what the impact we have on them and 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 it's true it it's not it's not, it's a tr- it's a real thing it's not something we do we fake or anything like mm-hmm. we just do it for real we really want that and we want to be inspired by that it's funny that your best of 2018 is actually my worst of 2018 on the, <laughs> on the, on the other side. I should have maybe compared notes before yeah, yeah, this yeah. <laughs> because my worst moment of 2018 is realizing that I have no, pretty much no connections right. with any of our clients. Mm-hmm. And of course, now I'm going to change things in 2019, but... Yeah. It might have been inspired by your Tampa trip and the feedback that you yeah. had when you came back, but I realized I'm like, man, you know, because look, I'm part of the sales process, right? Yeah. So at the beginning, 
there's all kinds of juice, there's all kinds of energy, yeah. and I talk to the to the client every day. But then when it you know when when the project gets sent to the development floor yeah. with the project managers and the developers, I kind of disconnect, and I'm like, you know what? If I don't hear from them, that means that it's everything's going well. Yeah. You know, yeah. like I reached out to them on LinkedIn. We're connected on LinkedIn. I'm like, okay, so that's enough, right? Yeah. But that's a big mistake because I find if I have a connection with a business owner of a manager of a service that I'm using. If something is going not according to plan, yeah. I'm not shy to pick up the phone and yeah. call him. Yeah. Whereas if I have zero connection, I'll just say, you know what, this is kind of crappy. I don't like what's happening. Right. I'm going to finish this project. I'm going to pay my bill and I'll never use them again. Yeah. And that's probably what happens a lot. You yeah. know? And networking, it, it's, it's not difficult. Again, I'm always worried that I'm going to be intrusive. Yeah. Like I, I'm going to. I plan to call a client on Monday and then I start talking myself out of it. Like, oh, it's Monday. He's probably busy. Yeah. I don't want to bug him. Right. Let me call him on, when, <laughs> let me call him on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Wednesday, oh, it's the beginning of the week. Right. You know, right. it's the end. I'm always finding excuses not to pick up the phone and, and, and at, my association is to bug the guy, right? But at the same time, when you start, I mean, you started to do it a couple months ago, right? More yeah, regularly. Slowly. Yeah. And, and, but when is, or, Ever, did it ever happen that someone was like, man, and why are you calling me? I'm too busy here. You know, it's never happened. That's it. No, so I've it's, never, we make uh, stories so bad in our mind. Yeah. It's a, I guess it's a false, um, worry or concern that yeah. I have. Yeah. And au contraire, um, I think about a month ago, I called one of our clients, um, it was a Magento client and because after your Tampa trip, I, again, I kind of got inspired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't go on a trip. Imagine if I went. Oh, shit. Yeah. How inspired I would be. That's going to that's gonna come. Yeah, I'm going to go in uh, January, February and start visiting. Um, right. But um, yeah, and I reached out to this uh, Magento client that's yeah. on our managed services uh, system. And I, and I just called and I said, listen, I just want to see how things are going, how we can improve our service. And he actually said to me, he says, Tony, I can't believe you're calling me right now. I was actually just shopping for your replacement. Imagine. Yeah. Imagine. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Wait, <laughs> what? He said, yeah. He says, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not happy. And he gave me the two reasons why he wasn't happy. And I solved them both. But that's a great example of someone who doesn't have a relationship with a manager or an owner. Right so that he feels that he can't pick up the phone and say, you know what, Tony, I'm not happy with these two things. Instead, yeah. what is he doing? He's just shopping around. He's Googling and he's looking for our replacement. It's, 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 it's almost like, um, you know, intimate relationship when the other person don't feel that they can, <laughs> the person can, f can fix the issue or talk yeah. with the person, then all right, either they part yeah, ways or they start cheating on them. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's talking truly is not an easy thing for most people. And it's something that needs to be developed. And actually, you know, funny thing is last year, I mean, last year, this year, 364 days ago, uh, 60, uh, no, 366 days ago, when I, on the first, I was reviewing my year, you know, and I was, what? My, the 2017 year. Your goal? So I, yeah. Not goals, but more like I was just looking back and. Oh, this and sort of exercise yeah, that we're doing now? Yeah. Okay. I was retrospecting my, my year by my, for myself. And I had promised me to have more and actually this came from uh reading uh tim ferris book and Who? and tim, tim ferris tim ferris okay and uh, book and podcast was and that the guy uh the four minute manager or one minute no no the, the four minute work no <laughs> the four <laughs> hour stop. work week <laughs> exactly <laughs> the four hour work week and 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 the four hour work week yeah i'm not going to repeat it my accent and my Hundred a waiter throat is uh, is gonna be screwed hey, you're up. You're doing great. Have some more tea. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have more tea, uh, and actually that tea is pretty good. Um, but one thing he's been preaching since a long time is to have more and more uncomfortable conversation, and and he has some tricks, crazy tricks, like he basically to feel good with the with the uh, uncomfortable the feeling of being uncomfortable, mm -hmm. like he would tell you, he would try or he would do, go in a Starbucks, lay down on the ground for 10 seconds and just get up and you leave, you know? 
Okay. And people are like, <laughs> what the heck? And he's just feeling the uncomfortable. That's a bit extreme. Yeah, it is. Or going to Starbucks and asking for 10% discount on the coffee. Yeah. Well, that I can do. It's weird. But yeah. at the same time, a lot of people are super shy about it. But, <laughs> but you know what? That, that's going to be a good segue for my po negative thing. Because I had promised me this. And I think I did some improvement, but not as much as I wanted to do. And, and my, I, I, is, it, is it negative or mistake? Or, but I think this year it happened more than before, maybe because we have recruited more people. Mm -hmm. But it's to not follow my feeling when I knew someone would not make it and keep trying to make it happen with that person. And, and you, mean, and you mean with an employee? Yeah, like hiring someone and the first week you know for a fact that the guy is not going to make it. Okay, so this is your regret of 2018? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so your regret of 2018 is that you don't fire quick enough? Exactly. You know that okay. thing, fi I mean, hire slow, fire fast, that yeah. saying we keep hearing for years. Hire slow, I never, fire fast. Yeah, I never really understood it, honestly. And I've been dealing with uh, employees since 2005 and, and like I did some fast fire, but I don't think I do it enough. And, and, and my thing of 2018 is there's at least four or five person I have in mind that I knew day one, or even the week, the first week at least, that they wouldn't work. And we, and high kept this thing for me, for most of, most of them, I didn't really share it. And I think I was just building stories in my head. This guy's gonna make it. Yeah, let's give him some time. He's not been lucky in life, let's try. You know, oh, or so it was an emotional. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you I had like a little bit of a, um, oops, you had like a little bit of a bond with the guy or girl. That or, you know, wanting to give a chance when maybe the person don't want to have a chance. Because we have we have a thirty day, probational period here. Actually, right? ninety. Ninety. Yeah. Well, I've Technically, it's ninety, but you know, within the first yeah, uh, I think three four weeks. 30, yeah, 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 yeah. So. So the, the, um, the resource or the, or the developer, let's say, knows that coming in, that his yeah. first 30 days, he could be gone in a moment if it doesn't work for him. Yeah. They know that, right? Yeah. They, are they told that when they come in? Not clearly, but now they will. Not clearly? Yeah, okay. that's part also of my So we lesson. knew it, they didn't. Okay. Yeah. You know, remember that person who was uh, watching video games on YouTube all the time? Yeah. You know? Like we knew from the first week. Yeah, we were ready to And we to kept get trying because this guy sold us on so on also on the interview about this and about that, about this. And I'm like, okay, I'm having some hope to build something with him. And he was on a key project also that yeah. we didn't have anyone else to do. Right? Exactly. Okay. So which also confused us a lot. Because I remember that too, that guy. It's like his first day he's watching YouTube videos. Like I, he has two screens. So on one screen he has... Yeah. A YouTube video and on the other screen he has the code and it's like first day and I remember saying to someone yeah I'm like man it's his first day he's already slacking off you're you need balls yeah you need a lot of balls and we can see everyone's yeah. screen here yeah <laughs> yeah true <laughs> so like he wasn't even hiding it no no but I think there was I think our project manager at the time was saying no he's doing good yeah. I'm checking his code and he's because some people are a little bit eccentric when they're coding, yeah. like they have to have oh, yeah, like I mean, some type of distraction in the background. There's all I don't kind understand of, it, but there's all kind of spacey in in this industry. Like developers, you know, like you were saying about um, the good rapport you're creating with the client at first, and now the client signs is ready to work with us, yeah. full of juice. The dev, it's not his role to have a lot of juice. Yeah, I know. you know, not for all of as them. As much as Some, you would like it, yeah, for Developers sure. don't have. Yeah, most of the time, you know, they're behind their computer just there's being some, geniuses. Yeah, there's some very eccentric people, and there's some very quiet people who just never talk, or or not even like we come in in the office, they don't even say hi, yeah. and you're forced just you know just say hey hi and uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know some there's all kind of people, and but that person particularly. Like the first week we knew that was, that was such a big red flag, such a big one. Like this guy had this, you know, a four by eight flag red on his, over his head like this, just flagging all over the place. Like fire and me, fire me. 
Pay, so, yeah. so your so your regret of 2018 is not firing fast enough. Not have followed my feeling enough. Not have fought for, you know, in our stand-up meeting, say, John, John Doe, he's not good. I am 100% sure of it. He's not going to make it. Let him, just let him go today. And Has it ever happened that you had that gut feeling at the beginning, right? That gut solved after? We know, yeah. So we know yeah. you didn't act on it right away. Because There's one that only. Was your There's regret. one guy only. There's only one? On, one guy only. One guy out of how many? Like. No, exactly. So it's not worth even... I was thinking about that coming in this morning. I'm thinking about this thing of saying, yeah, but if I follow my feeling all the time, my feeling is not a crystal ball, right? It's yeah. just based on my past 13 years of experience with people. And, and, but at the same time, I know probably that it's good nine times on 10. Now, if I don't hack upon it because I don't want to do that one mistake on 10, yeah. But I'm doing nine mistakes on 10 too. Right? I guess there's another saying um, where you have to check, double check your facts, right? So oh, you yeah, might have sure. a gut feeling at the beginning, yeah. but that's just going to motivate you to call in the manager maybe yeah. or just do it yourself yeah, yeah. and supervise this guy like after every two days and say, okay, what did this guy do the past two yeah. days? Is he delivering? You know? And yeah. I guess your gut feeling could be useful for that because I have seen your gut feeling um, work in the other way, yeah. right? Uh, like, um, okay, I won't mention his name, <laughs> but someone that basically we hired, um, we hired, I think, three or four people all within the same week. Yeah. And I remember you saying to me, that guy is something. Yeah. That And... Based on what I don't know, but you are actually right. The guy so far has been incredible. He's, He's crazy. Been, yeah. So, yeah, gut feeling. Yeah. Gut feeling, I guess, is not going to make you come in and fire someone and no. say, "Oh, no, you no, know what? You, I don't think that yeah. guy's going to work out." But it's a call you can to action. say, "I don't think that a call to action." Exactly. That's it. So That's a call know. to action to verify. Does that is it true? Yeah. Like in the seventies, we used to call that spider senses. <laughs> Remember <laughs> that person we had for a few weeks. Um, that we would uh, basically name uh, by his um, um, letters. Anyway, he's been working with me directly, and I was really trying to make this guy to work. Oh, his initials. Yeah, his initials. <laughs> and, and at the end, I'm not sure he wanted to be here, and I was still trying, and just being blind about it. And he still did some good work, but never for the amount of money he was paid for, mm -hmm. and we had to fix a lot of shit after he left. Okay. And after he left, after we fired the person, I st just went out of curiosity, look on his Facebook and place like that. And I saw some comments that, holy cow, if I had read this the first week, he would have yeah. never stayed here. So I didn't follow at all. Like that, I had this big call to action the first week and I did not follow through it. Okay. So what are you going to do to um, improve that in 2019? I guess you're going to do what we just said then, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, call to action, act upon it, do something yeah. about it. Now, with that said, I mean, for people who are listening to this, we do a lot of crap and a lot of mistakes. Like, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. We don't hire always the right people, and we fire someone, sometimes the, the wrong people. Mm -hmm. And it happened in every single business. Like, we're not perfect. Um, for I, I just feel that when I... D the reason why it's the worst for me for 2018, like I said, maybe because we hired more people than the following, the, the previous years, mm -hmm. But it's also because I feel that we're disrespecting clients and employees that believe in the company when mm -hmm. we keep those guys. That's the thing that annoys me. Right? Yeah, so we end, up, we end up letting them go or they end up leaving as well, right? Um, yeah, and most of the time... Oh, sorry. It's just not as quick as we would like, and sometimes they do damage before yeah. they leave. Yeah. Like for example, that guy that you're talking about with the, with the YouTube on, yeah. on one screen <laughs> and coding on another, yeah. which by the way, just drives me wacko when I see that, because personally I have to be super concentrated when I do something, and it's impossible, it's impossible. to work properly if you have no. a soccer game on one screen and you're coding on another. It's impossible. Yeah, you're just lying. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to us. You're lying to the client. And you're actually, um, you know, doing something bad for your own career. Like, yeah, I mean, everyone... For your own is, career. Yeah. Career. 
because everyone has, is allowed to take a day off, is allowed to call a sick day when they're not sick. They're allowed, I mean, they're allowed to do everything they want. Mm -hmm. But you and I, we're allowed to not promote that person, mm -hmm. to not give a proper raise, to not, um, to not give the perfect project for that person because now our, our trust and faith in that person started to shrink. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's all kind of people. I was telling to T um, last week that it's amazed me that people, when they were- You're telling to T? That, that T, no, <laughs> <laughs> Talene, T. Okay, okay. And, and she's behind of the camera right now. I won't look. <laughs> Please don't. No, but uh, I was telling yeah. her about, it, it just amazed me because there's no freaking difference between someone having a client in freelance mode and someone working for an employer. Mm -hmm. This person should deal with the employer or the client the same way as, the, as we do with clients. Mm -hmm. It's a service. Someone pay for you. Like It's not something for granted that you have to keep, that you're always going to have. And, and the, the, the boss holds you everything. Yeah, we work for our, for our um, employees for sure, 100%. But at the end, they're giving us a service the same way that someone would give a service to a client. Yeah, absolutely. It's the same thing. So they're supervised uh, more here. The only difference is the, is the, uh, the, 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 the pay uh, method. Mm -hmm. They get automatic deposit every two weeks. Yeah. And on the other side, they get paid every 30 days or so. Yeah. So, so let's just clarify that it's, it's, it's pretty rare, actually. It, it hasn't happened often yeah. um, to that level anyway. But back to that, to that person and the, the damage that can be done by not acting right away yeah. is an example of this, this person again, because what happened is they worked here for four weeks and screwed up the whole thing the, actually the famous project that we wanted them and we thought that they were going to be able to execute on so the client got delayed by an entire month yeah which wasn't the end of the world for the client because it was a feature that he fortunately you know, that he yeah. wanted yeah that wasn't really uh, there was no hurry right. for it yeah however we ended up paying the guy for four weeks oh, yeah. we ended up eating the invoices for those four weeks and we, we do it again putting another person on there, all kinds that of That was credits. already billing for another client. That's it. So it's it's definitely destructive. So oh, yeah. I agree. I agree that that should be your uh, <laughs> your worst <laughs> yeah. moment of, of 2018. Yeah. And it happened more than once. That's the thing. That's the thing. Yeah. It's not at that level. This one is extreme. Though, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. for three, <clears throat> I think three to four weeks, we thought it was working and developing things. Yeah. And actually didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. It. it didn't happen. When... When someone else jump in, once we finally decided that, okay, man, you, you had your shot and look and look into the repos and, and this guy did nothing. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how he got his way out of it because he was in calls with clients and showing things. And I'm like, man, this guy is a great skater. I don't know what he, I don't yeah. know. Like, obviously, if we had had like um, someone to supervise the code itself on this, but this guy was also supposed to be a senior, so we didn't do it. Yeah, let's but forget about him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's forget but about uh, him. but w what's important is that is that something was learned. Yeah. Um, the client wasn't impacted. Yeah. Um, that much, other than uh, inconvenience, which yeah. is huge. Yeah. Because uh, that's not what we preach. Nope. Um, but in the end, we, like I said, we ate those invoices. Yeah. We got another good guy yep. uh, to finish the project yep. and the client's happy. Mm -hmm. so, so, um, so, so now I know your best. Now I know your worst. Yeah. You know my... I don't um, know the best though. No, you don't know my best moment. No, I'll tell yet. you my best moment. <laughs> so my worst, just to make sure. So yeah. my worst is basically kind of linked to yours, yeah. which is realizing... I think it was actually after the Tampa trip that I yeah. realized, man, I'm just a goof. I'm... I'm treating clients as if no news yeah. is good news. They must be happy or yeah. else they would contact me because I, I have no relationship with actually, them. Actually, I had more than one in my mind and I ended up just picking the, 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 those top two. But what you just said is actually one that I was thinking about when we have something going on with a client and it seems to be all freaking good. Mm -hmm. Like for weeks, developer is happy, client seems happy, the um, manager seems happy, everything seems good. 
And then one day we hear that actually it wasn't that good, yeah. right? And we can never assume that things are going well unless we check. So that's being a big thing also for me, like to, well, actually for you, because now you call, right? You call the people that we well, work now, with. Well, now, yeah, now I have a, I have a yeah. new system and I'm actually calling uh, clients on a regular basis. Yeah. Um, I, you know what, I, I haven't gotten over my little phobia of disturbing everyone. Yeah. So I send an email first, just say, hey, do you, got, you, know, do you have a moment to, to catch yeah. up? Yeah. I want to see how we can improve. Right. That's sort of the icebreaker. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going really well. Yeah. And that led to my best moment of, of 2019. Uh, excuse me, of 2018. What yeah. I meant to say in 2019, I'm actually booking soon to fly out to Philadelphia, right. flying out uh, from Philadelphia to Providence, and then to New York City. Right. Sort of see uh, a few clients. They don't all, They don't have to be big clients. Yeah. Um, some of them are huge, though. Um, but I definitely want to start doing that. Yeah. And it's a joke. It's an hour flight. Yeah, from Montreal to Philadelphia. And flight winning the US are so cheap. It takes me longer to get to yeah. my house from here every day. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous, <laughs> you know. Exactly. So so that's that's a. Um, I guess when you make a realization, you have to make a correction. So that's yeah. that's my correction. Yeah, but definitely, yeah. top moment of 2019 well, is something that happened, of course, in the last few months. Is while um, reaching out to one of our larger clients. Mm -hmm. Just having a regular conversation. Yeah. I think it was my second one uh, with him recently. Right. And I asked him, you know, everything's going great. He says, you know something, Tony? He goes, I'm just so shocked that this is working so well. And I get a little bit defensive. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, <laughs> I'm just shocked that everything is going so well. Like, you know, they're, I think they're they're using four or five of our developers yeah. as part of their development team. Their team, yeah. And he said to me, he said, you know, when I got assigned to this project, um, because they were, they sort of make a, they made a little bit of a correction. Yeah. Um, they let some people go and he was uh, the new one up to bat for this, for right. this um, segment that they were working on, which is a huge part of the, of the company, yeah. by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, I remember going home to my wife and saying, man, I can't believe that I've been entrusted um, at this level. And he's saying, man, I hope it works. He was yeah. telling his wife, he's like, this has got to work, you know? And he said to me, he goes, I can't believe that it's actually working. <laughs> and it's working really well. That's cool. But you, I have to, then I said back, right, right back to him also, I said, yeah. look, you have to admit that it's working really well because of you guys as well. Like, so, yeah. On their end, they're really managing our guys properly. Yeah. They're really, they've got some really good milestones. Communication is yeah. amazing. They're having a Zoom a video conference well, uh, every morning at 10 a.m. Yeah. They're, uh, they're, they're having a nice conference. Yeah. So, it, you know, that was definitely my top moment of, of 2019. As, as minute and small as it sounds, it's just a passing comment from him. But for me, it yeah. was like, ah, oh, yeah, thank and th well, thanks the God that, that it's that working. <laughs> <laughs> thanks God that these guys manage it properly, though, because you know we had the experience in the past with some clients who actually uh, are not technical whatsoever, and we did a mistake of letting them manage the project, the dev, and everything. Mm. So they have no good experience for to have a good judgment on it. And, and so we think it's going well, Def thinks it's going well because he's being asked all kind of things, but at the same time, the client is asking things that will be a mistake along the way. And when that mistakes arise, then he's pissed about the, you know, to the Dev and to us and to the company itself. It oh, that's, that's definitely, we can have a video oh, just shit, on yeah. that, on how um, some clients lead our developers yeah. down the wrong path and sometimes the developer raises his hand and says hey that's the wrong path or yeah. sometimes Fortunately, most of the time yeah. and, and sometimes they say hey that's yeah. the wrong path and then the then the client will say well I don't care if you think it's the wrong path we're still going down there yeah and they end up getting into trouble but you know that's definitely uh, we should that should probably be one of yeah. our <laughs> next videos yeah we should we yeah. should because um, there's gonna be a lot to talk about on yeah. how it's important for a developer yeah. 
when a developer sees, I, I said let's for, for the next video, but uh, I just want to Go for it, go with, for it. <laughs> when a developer sees that he's going down the wrong path, yeah. in this company, the worst thing he can do is just keep his blinders on and just keep going down that wrong path. Because in the end, he's going to be asked. Yeah. You, know, you knew it was the wrong thing to do. Why didn't yeah. you say something? So now, fortunately, look, we've got 40 personalities here. Yeah. So most of them now know exactly what to do yeah. when they're going down the road. And we path. did not train them enough about that. Like we, that's on yeah. another, another thing we need to work on for yeah. 2019 is training more about this actual vision and, and, and you know, goal we have. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, there's not, I mean, I don't want to say too much because I think we have a big subject for the next time. Yeah. <laughs> but, exactly. uh, but yeah. So it's exciting. I'm looking forward to uh, I'm looking forward to getting on a plane. Yeah. And uh, going you, to you. Uh, you will come back people. totally transformed. Yeah. Be careful when I come back. Eh? I'm gonna be. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be nuts. The guy's gonna be a big train <laughs> getting in the office. Get yeah. Oh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Just, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. gonna, it's be, gonna be awesome. But uh, be awesome. you actually said um, no. Actually, I just covered that. I had took a note about like clients not being yeah. uh, technical enough for for. Um, managing the person and 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 no i think this the, the the idea i had i'm gonna keep it for the next time because yeah. yeah so so the worst was not meeting or calling the worst was realizing yeah. that i am totally not networking with with yeah. our clients and by the way we've got some beasts of clients oh shit, like yeah. we've got guys who are Titans in their unit in, in their in their industry, Titans of their industry. We've got guys that um, are just incredible. Yeah. And I'm sort of I was I was sort of keeping a distance and you know what, if there's yeah. a problem they're gonna call me. Which is which is bullshit, you know? Yeah. It's it's, were, it's were just you crazy. were you hesitating with like the worst and the ba and the best for twenty eighteen? Did you have the other things that you were thinking about? No, the, the only thing I was sort of uh, aware of was that there were realizations that happened in the last 60 days, let's yeah. say, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. but other than that, no, those were pretty much, uh, you know, you know, one of the most, um, like one I regret the most, regret. Uh, I actually regret because we couldn't make it. Okay. And, and actually we cannot name any name, but that very famous person that reached out to us to help on something yeah and we really tried and and at first they were you know the, these people reach us reach us to us for a certain technology yeah and along the way we realized it was not exactly that technology but we're so excited about that person that we love so much that we like we need to try to help that person and so yeah. we try it for free try to make it happen put the wrong people on it totally didn't work it's been too long person Mm -hmm. I mean, this person ran away and, but geez, having that person could have been a big turn of heaven for us if we would have made it. So yeah, I was very disappointed about that one too. I don't know if it would be a big turn of event for us having that person as a client. Yeah. It, didn't, it didn't seem like it. I think it was something that we really loved yeah. the idea of. Yeah, but, true. You know, yeah. but we weren't allowed to talk about the person. <laughs> we weren't allowed to tell anyone. <laughs> And we follow everything, you know, and it, when we sign an, an NDA, a non-disclosure yeah. agreement, we follow <laughs> everything to the T. That's why yeah. I don't sign all of them. You know, I don't know. But it's true that they did knock on our door for a technology that we yeah. are very familiar with. And But when they got into the door, then they said, well, we want you to actually do this technology, which we weren't very familiar with. Yeah. But since it was that, famous person we still wanted to try and uh, knock the ball out of the park anyway and since we were not charging for it and we did it for free yeah exactly. we did it for three or four weeks for free just to prove ourselves and uh, they ended up not being happy in the end anyway yeah. although we made it what we did worked w did work yeah. yeah they just didn't like the ad uh, if i remember correctly they the they love yeah they, they they felt <laughs> they, <laughs> The, the person in charge felt like she wasn't uh, being treated um, as... Uh, At the level of uh, the popularity, maybe? Yeah, what was the word? I, I don't feel that we're the most important client in yeah. your company. Which has been also another good lesson. 
because yeah. that wasn't one of the first times someone tell us that. Yeah. And we're like, actually, everyone should feel, even the smallest client, that they're the most important client in our company. Yeah. The, the, the small client with a few thousand of dollar budget and the one with a few hundred K, you know? Yeah. It, they should all be at the same level. Yeah. 100%. So it's been kind of a good learning experience as well. Both how we should have dealt with that person, but also with, with, the, with the wrong people. Um, I, I say the wrong people today because it's eyesight 2020, right? Uh, yeah. and, and we, s we now know those people didn't have the right mindset, you know, in the company yeah. and, and invest themselves and believing in what we do. And do what you we agree serve. that you'd love to have another shot at them? Oh, call it. Yeah. God, for sure. I would love to have another opportunity. hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. And, and, but, uh, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> you see that? Yeah. We still mm -hmm. want to, uh, it's because it's it's difficult when you don't um, yeah. when someone tells you that they're not happy with yeah. with your work. It's it's difficult. It's yes, a it's hard pill to swallow um, oh. because we spend so much time, you know, trying to set up um, yeah. processes that that make sense yeah. and work. And it cost us in the five figures this thing. Yeah, this trial period cost us yeah. in the five figures. So we yeah. did invest a lot of money. Also, what's five figures? Uh, so 10k. Mm -hmm. No, it's more like around 20. 20K? I, yeah, I don't want to yeah. mention, but it's about 20. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah. in time, I mean, in time that those people would have worked for another client, because if you remember, now this person or... Oh, yeah. I mean, this client comes in and like we're like, oh, right, we, we have to push everything aside. <laughs> we have to focus on this guy. Let's well, put we didn't. I think, that was the, I think that was the issue. We did not push everything else aside because yeah. we can't push other clients no, aside no, 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 just because a famous person no, comes in the no, office. No, no, but no. But, but we, I, we had to do something about it. Yeah, I think in hindsight, um, when they changed uh, the technology ask, yeah. right? So they came in, you know, we want we want PHP work. Yeah. And then when they changed, it's like we want mobile work. We don't do mobile work. No. So we should have probably just not native away. at least. Yeah. Yeah, native. Not native. Uh, yeah, sorry, I should have said that. We don't yeah. do native apps. Yeah. Um, we should have walked away, but we we're so like, you know what? We can do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Hey, you. I want you to learn this yeah, technology yeah. and uh, that was, you know, yeah. a recipe for disaster, yeah. I guess. Yeah, or get the proper person. Yeah. To try it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. So that was your uh That was, that was one of your biggest regrets of 2018. Yeah, because I guess I like the the <laughs> the client. Yeah. I would have liked a lot of client, I guess, but uh Yeah. And that's going to be a good story eventually to share with people. Mm. I don't know how long we have to not mention the name, but eventually I guess we can. I think uh, we can mention the person's name uh, in uh, 2075. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what I have to say, though? I think that there's a lot of great moments of 2018. Yeah. And a lot of them are when we save someone's butt. Oh, yeah. You know, those Holy are cow. those are great. Like someone who calls not a not a current client, but, you know, a prospect who calls and says, look, I'm stuck my site is down or my development yeah. team has disappeared. Um, can you help? Um, those are the ones that are fun. Yeah. You know, you kind of feel like, uh, you did something. Yeah. There's yeah. A, an amazing sense of accomplishment. Yeah. You know, when you give the client a call and say, Hey, it's done. You're online, which I normally allow the project manager to get that great feeling yeah. of calling them. But oh, then yeah. a lot of time they email or they call and say, I just want to thank you. You guys are amazing. Yeah. And, yeah, when we have those opportunities, it's so great. It's so rewardful. Yeah, rewarding. Yeah. Well, rewarding. Yeah. yeah, rewarding. And it's, you know what? A lot of times it's <laughs> like an hour or two. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes we don't even charge the person. It's like, yeah. hey, don't worry about it. You know, if you need anything in the future, give us a call. And like, what better way to start a relationship, right? <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of this. Um, remember uh, about four years ago? The, um, four years ago. Four or five years ago, maybe. Okay. I th actually, I think it was around that time, like in the holidays and the developer was not reachable and, 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 uh, mm. and Ted, was it, I mean, yes. Ted, right. Yeah. So, and he called and he's, he screwed up and it was new year's Eve. I remember that one. I was actually in the parking lot of, um, a place on the Ontario border getting fireworks cause they oh, had the yeah. best fireworks. Right. 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 So I had to drive and just cross <laughs> the Ontario border. 
and I got amazing fireworks. Yeah. And that was back in the day where the phones were transferred to my cell. Right. Yeah, and yeah, he yeah. caught me, and he was he, yeah. He was going through that exact. Uh, I think he was hacked at the time. Yeah, the website was, was hacked. hacked. His, his site yeah. was down. I don't remember yeah. the and circumstances. And actually, what we did quickly, I had. Uh, oh no, that was what do you call that? The um, DOS attack or yeah, what is it called? Uh, DDoS, yeah. DDoS. Yeah. He was, uh, was yeah, yeah. There was that, but I think the code had been. Oh no, maybe it's just the DDoS. You're right. Was I that. think. Yeah, I think you're right. And we had just gone through that with another client, with so you yeah. were fresh. Of, uh, yeah. on the solution. I got I got two system administrator and said let's let's try to save this guy and yeah. and within the day like the site was back did us done that was sick <laughs> sick and it's good to mention that that company is still a client today yeah, yeah although they sold this year yeah right yeah Ted sold yeah this good year. for them yeah uh, but the uh, the new owners took us took us on obviously yeah and, uh, so that we still have them as a client. Yeah, and we got good so referral also from this person. Yeah, we got some yeah. referrals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some less than that other, but yeah, we got some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But good. but the relationship's been great. Um, yeah, so that's an example of for me 2019, 2018, There's a lot of those yeah. little good moments that obviously you know there 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 are too many to to mention. Right. But um, yeah, thanks yeah. for bringing that up. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Um, good. Good. So, so by by sharing the positive and the negative thing, you kind of set your goal for 2019, uh, and so I. Um, yeah, definitely uh, first, uh, an exciting goal for 2019. Just going over my notes, team. Man, <laughs> I think we're getting there. We're getting to a wrap up. First uh, video on the last day of 2018. That's a uh, that's a good day to do that. I hope we're gonna it's be. I hope we're gonna be looking this back in ten years from now and be laughing and at laughing. it. Laughing. At least it's gonna mean we have improved a lot. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's this is a good day to do it too. December thirty yeah. first. Yeah, yeah. I'm a bit under the weather, but I I'm happy with uh, with my voice so far. Yep. Yeah. So good. Yeah, you did great. <laughs> Anything else you want to add on this? No, that's about it, my friends. Good. I guess uh, we'll get back to work. All right. So let's get back to work. All right, brother. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our first of many videos. It would mean a lot to us if you subscribe to our channel. Also, please comment below or on Twitter to tell us what you thought of it. See ya.